Hello, my solar system. This is your girl, Righteous Soul. I just want to welcome you again to my world. I know you guys have endured and, and been very patient with me. You've watched me um, the last few months go through the good, the bad, the ugly, and I do mean ugly. You've watched me become scarred, um, mentally drained, and you've also um, watched as I unfortunately became physically handicapped due to my car accident. Um, good news is I am up and taking physical therapy sessions and I have begun my first steps already so I'm very excited to where I am and to where I was um, when I look back on that I didn't think I would come out of it and I'm just so thankful that you guys are still here I'm still watching still subscribing still sharing I'm still commenting still showing me love and I know you don't have to do that and I'll never take this life for granted again um, I recently submitted a, a poem for an audition and I wanted to share the poem I know I've shared it before on many stages and I know some of you have heard it um, but I wanted to share it with my righteous world um, just because um, it's just so relevant for the times and it's called um, the point of no return there's no place like home there's no place like home there's no place like home. Dorothy, tell that to the homeless. Rome wasn't built in a day. Tell that to the people who spent the last 50 years roaming, yet have never seen the promised land. If you can't admit how discouraging that must have been, then you're not being honest, man. It's 2020, so let's keep it 100 then. I spent 38000 on student loans because I refused to lower my expectations for a higher education. We get into debt to get out of poverty because ain't no such thing as a free lottery. Where do we go from here? absolutely nowhere if we're just going to get there and sit still you know how some folks get when it gets real they complain then they take a seat on the fence like the bus is filled rosa parks didn't just sit down because she had on heels they said righteous keep your poems family friendly but what's the use because ain't nothing friendly fam about a noose brown souls die early because of how powerful we'd be after graduation now that's the true meaning of brown versus education they killed an innocent man because progress was going to be such a devastation that's why i care less about golden state and more about state senate because some cops don't care about your window anymore as long as your face tinted but i show all cops respect and i never play the race card unless someone put it in the deck it's an eternal defeat Human Humanity's been tricked for so long we forgot how to treat. This life isn't all sunshine, it's ugly to say the least. So don't paint these kids the beauty, then leave out the beast. See, some of y'all need sobriety tests because y'all are straight out of line with these free my homie t-shirts and free my homie signs. Like your homie didn't just commit and prison my homie crimes. I'm angry because 50 years later I turned on the TV and couldn't tell what year it was. I really don't see color when I look at Alyssa, Kaylee, and Britney. I see lovable friends who decided to walk this hateful journey with me. And when I'm in the voters line, I'm reminded of a time when they bred us with us, mating mothers with sons, fathers with daughters, and vice versa, just to increase the number of slave workers. And it makes me sick to my stomach to think there was a time we couldn't identify as humans, only as numbers. We've acquired new hate from old love. And yes, blacks are killing each other too, so the only time our race truly comes comes together is when we're hanging in cold blood thank you and guys we have to get to the polls we have to vote we have to do what's best there was a time when we couldn't even do any of that and now we have the luxury so to speak and the liberty to do so and some of us don't and there's no judgment um being cast i'm just saying that um as a poet going to the polls i encourage poets everywhere artists everywhere to get there you find the people that are representing the issues in which you strongly believe in and that's where you take your stand that's the first step and if you don't know who's who certain people are on the ballot because we have that with local you know elections where we don't always know who's on the ballot but i'm just going to tell you guys do your research you know figure it this figure it out because um we have to um again thank you guys for tuning in um to righteous world and uh thank you for listening to the poem i ask that you share it if it did anything for you i ask that you like comment um talk to me i'm out there to talk back with you okay and remember you know it's my world but it's not really a good world without you in it thank you